Hello guys and welcome to Revit Keys. Today in this tutorial, I want to talk about the mistakes that slow you down. So why it is important to avoid mistakes in Revit? Because mistakes will make you lose time and time will cost you money. So an important reminder is the iron triangle. So for a successful project, you have to deliver a quality in your project and take in consideration your cost and time. So what are those seven mistakes in Revit that we must avoid to speed up our model? Let's start with mistake number one, not fixing warnings. When you are working for a deadline, it is easy to look out some of the warning Revit produces. If you left them unchecked for a long period, you can stack more than 500 warnings, which can make your model slow and affect on the performance. Therefore, you have to go to manage and choose the review warning from the inquiry panel and start resolving those warnings. So as you see in our example, we have overlapping walls in the ground floor level, overlapping rooms and I have also a more complicated warning in the stair. So you have to click on every one of them and the warning is highlighted in the model and it is your turn to resolve each one of them. Let's move to mistake number two, preserving all your families. Don't be a collector when it comes to Revit families in your model. You load too many families because you think it is the only way to access to them in case you need, like doors, columns, windows, as you see in our example. But in fact, all your families go unused for months and keeping all of them will slow you down. So in this case, you have to delete and purge the unused families. And don't forget, you can always reload a family when you need. But wasted time caused by the slowdown cannot come back, so be careful. Mistake number three, too many views. Plan, sections, 3D views and drafting views. You create lots of them during the construction process. So every time you need a specific view, you have to go through all of them that mean you are wasting your time. Therefore, to avoid this mistake, you have to keep in mind this rule. Name it or delete it. And try always to organize your project browser. Mistake number four, not deleting DWG files. In Revit, we have the possibility to import DWG files from AutoCAD. That's fine. But there's a big problem here. DWG models slow Revit down and cause errors also. And when it comes to exploding the file, we will have the big nightmare. Why? Because Revit convert all layers into line styles. So in our example, we have a small project. If we have a big one, you will get a lot of useless line styles. Therefore, the solution is to link the file instead of importing it. Mistake number five, over modeling small 3D elements. Everyone likes to impress the client with his model. So he goes to draw small details so the design will be more beautiful. Okay, that's good, a column with small leaves and decorative molding at the top of the building. But overmodeling will put more work on your software and it slow everything down. So in early stages of your design, no need for those details. Keep them for the final stages. And we have an exception for people who like renderings. It's a good idea to model such details if your building is done for this purpose. Mistake number six, not compacting the file. Why? 
When you go to File, Save as, Project. Then choose Options from the Save as dialog. You can find in the File Save as Options a checkbox for compacting the file. What does this tool mean? You know that Revit has the ability to take data from many resources, and this data grow over time and slow your process. So this option can help you to create a smaller saved file. Mistake number seven, opening unuseful work sets. When I go to collaborate, I choose work sets from the manage collaboration panel and the work set dialog appears. So here is a very bad way to use work sets. Ceilings, doors, floors, roofs, windows. So I want to select all those work sets to delete them by clicking on the delete button on the right side. And I want to create new work sets like architecture, structure, and MEP. So here we can group all the architectural elements under this title. And the same for structure and MEP discipline. Therefore, we can manage the visibility of those groups. So work sets are used to avoid bad performance. And you have to work carefully with this tool and don't create unuseful work sets. So thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Have a nice day.